Okay, you heard the title of this video. This is every map mode. So quick disclaimers, I am doing this fast. There will be some personal preference. I'm not including Turf War or Shifty Station, mostly because the Turf War layouts are trash on almost every single map. The tiers will not be ordered, and I'll have a video detailing why I don't like most of Splatoon 2's maps and their problems in the description. So without further ado, let's rank every single ranked map mode, all 92. Here we go. Uh, so we'll do Mall Tower, Rainmaker, and Clan Blitz. This stage just sucks. I don't like it. The Rainmaker layout is hell past the 20 point marker. It's literally the worst ending part of any Rainmaker map. Clan Blitz is incredibly suffocating. You are either pushing with a 10 shield or a Stingray. There is no in between. And Tower, Arowana Mall is rain. Is just, it's just rain hell. Uh, a common theme with every bad tower map, you'll notice if the tower goes significantly far away from spawn, like if it moves backwards, it's probably bad. And this is probably the best example of that. So garbage. Another bad thing about tower control is if it's over a f***ing ocean. And guess what? This one is over an ocean. So yeah, you just ride the tower they throw a and you just die because what are you gonna do uh kelp's a pretty horrible layout tower control has the going away fault and clams can be scored from mid pinnacle of game design sorry falco i have to do this but uh yep port in these three modes horrible port clams will literally ko in one push it is a neutral stalemate until one team gets the advantage and then clam spawns are so garbage on this map that you just knock out in one push uh tower and rain are both ray hell with very little places to move rainmaker probably even worse since you're just condensed into this tiny area past like the 50 point marker fun the entire thing about a connected bridge that worked on Hammerhead is the fact that you could shoot underneath it. The glass is both higher and does not work the same in this game. Connected glass is absolutely horrible and it makes Schellendorf basically unplayable. This is the worst map in Splatoon overall. It is the only one I'm even gonna put zones into the bottom tier on. This is just not playable. The lockout is absolute hell. The cr stage is cramped. The spawn area is horrible. Specials feel unbelievably annoying on this stage more than anywhere else. There is no positive thing about this stage. It can work in Splatoon 1 because Splatoon 1 specials are stupid and you can just crack it in to pass any checkpoint. On an actual game with balanced specials, it just does not work the same way. This is the best map in the game, but then they give it a brand new horrible layout on Rainmaker. Enjoy your Ray Hell special spam nightmare fuel. Do you want to just knock out more clams? Okay, Clam Blitz Black Belly is horrible. This one's just not fun to play on. This one's not fun to play on. So many of these Clam Blitz maps just do not work, especially on the Splatoon 1 stages. It happens a lot, but I think the Clam Blitz layouts are usually some of the worst, which sucks because, uh, you know, it's actually a pretty good mode. Oh yeah, let's get these out of the way. Rainmaker, Tower Control, and Clam Blitz, because Wahoo now has the middle bridge dropping, which makes it just horrible. Goodbye. Uh, no one wants to play you ever. Uh, Camp, Clam Blitz, and Rainmaker are neutral hells. They are annoying to push on. Stingray is really broken on them, so yeah, they're kind of annoying. Uh, Gobi just f***ing sucks, honestly. This stage is hot trash. Moving objectives do not work on this stage. The layout is way too cramped. There's uninkables, it, it's just not fun. And then even if you do get all the way there, it then becomes a spawn camp hell. Uh, Rainmaker Ink Blot. This stage is not that good. It's very overrated, but on top of that, there is one push path on Rainmaker, which is basically how you know it's a bad Rainmaker path. Oh, you just, you go one way. Nice, very creative. Uh, Rainmaker and Zones are slightly better, but spoiler alert, there's still Kelp Dome. Uh, Moray, eh, it's, it's Moray. There's not really too much to say about it. It's a bit more playable on Zones. Eh, the heights are just annoying to push on. Lockouts on Overlook are really good, but getting back takes way too long. It's just really annoying to move. Vertical stages often have this problem where approaching is very hard. And unfortunately, Moray does not have enough approach options to mitigate this problem. So it's bad. Uh, I saw someone on my Twitter timeline say this map mode was good. So you want, uh, no. I never want to hear any praise about Muscle Forge Tower Control. The tower goes into a trench you cannot shoot. And then it moves away from spawn. This map mode is hell on an already mediocre map. People just like this because they like playing Slayers and know how to play the map. I guess we could get the worst zones maps out of the way. Port zones is terrible. Oh, uh, we can do Skipper on Rainmaker and Tower Control now. This stage is not bad, but it is not made for these objectives. I think Skipper on Clams and Zones is actually pretty good. I'll talk about it later, but it was not made for these types of objectives, uh, not at all. So the layouts just kind of fall apart here. Uh, and then we have another cramped and 
very annoying Clam Blitz map that makes the stage have even less movement options with how it's laid out for some f***ing reason, because I don't know what the devs are doing designing the stage. All right, that's D tier. Cam Zone's S tier. Aha, uh -huh. okay, 10 player. Okay, 10 player. Okay, 10 player. Th you're the same type of thing as the Slosher player, liking tower control on Muscle Forge. Uh, well, we can rank the other Muscle Forges because they're pretty mediocre. So, Clams, Rain, and Zones. These map modes are cramped. Top mid is way too annoying. It overly favors short range. Bomb spam is way too good on it. I don't like this stage. Tower Snapper isn't the worst thing in the world. The tower goes a bit away, but it's not as bad as the other tower control stages we have gone over. So, yeah, I'll give it a little bit of a pass. Uh, we can get the last Wahoo World out of the way. They took away the stage's main gimmick by having mid not rotate and the bridge always open, and it instantly makes the stage actually playable. Not good, but you can play on it now and it functions because its gimmick is the worst gimmick we've ever had. Uh, we can get the same stage, but 2% different out of the way. Where's Erewhon Amal for the last time? Goodbye. Uh, we can finally get to Albacore. I'd say Rainmaker's the worst one. Walking Rainmaker upgrades or on narrow pathways on a very open stage is bad, but honestly, this one is not as bad as people say it is. Uh, speaking of not bad as people say it is, let's transition to Overrated. Rainmaker Mako is interesting because it's a good layout, except for one thing that ruins it, and that's the spawn location. I don't know who the thought you should spawn on that side of the map instead of extending the area behind the pedestal, but uh, you- no. It's terrible. Instead of having two push options, you have one rush option depending on the comp and one long annoying option, and I hate both of them. The spawn is the only- like, dude, better spawn and it can go up here. But with the spawn it has, it goes here. That's how bad it is. It's horrible. It's so goddamn bad. I have no idea why they put it there. I have a saying about Rainmaker Reef, which is the game either goes on for five minutes and it's the most stally annoying thing in existence, or it ends in one push. You have to put Rainmaker in one path, pretty much. A little bit of split, but barely. It is uninkable. Or you can go the long, unviable route and get Stingray to death. And then uh, Tower Shellendorf ain't that bad, so we'll put it there. So, we have gone through the bad map modes now. I don't think any of these should be played. Maybe some of them in C you can make exemptions for and they'd be okay, but from here on out, we're entering what I consider playable stages. Zones Gobi. This thing was almost in C tier, but I think it is okay. There is some amount of movement options. Gobi is better on a stationary objective. It is playable. Uh, I don't know why, but Moray Zones just works fine. Like, it's overhated. It's still not good, but like, it's not that bad. This is playable tier. This is not good. This is not even okay. Listen though, Mori fans, Zipcaster might save your stage. Zipcaster and Squid Surge might make this an actual good stage in the third game when they inevitably bring it back. So, you know what? I'm gonna say that. That'll be my positive thing. Zipcaster and Squid Surge fix Moray's biggest problems. If they tweak the stage a little bit when they bring it into three, it might actually be a good stage, maybe. Okay, so Zones Camp, let me address the rumors. Uh, some people are delusional and think that this is a good map mode. This is a factor of Splatoon 2 maps being so garbage that they're like, oh, this stage is different, therefore it's good. That's kind of where we're at right now, like, people just got brainwashed into thinking this is a good map mode because there aren't enough good map modes for them to realize, oh wait, this one's actually not that good. The split is okay. It's unique. I'll, I'll give it that. It's not the worst thing ever. Still stall heavy. It's still ray heavy. There's not a lot of options, so. And this is coming from the expo player. My weapon literally breaks half of this map mode in itself. It is just playable. Uh, Tower Pit. So Tower Pit's layout is fine. The tower goes a bit far away on the sides, but honestly, there's so many places to move on Pit because it's an actual well-designed map that it's not as horrible as it would be on any others. I'd say the choke points are a little bit annoying, and I'd say the final checkpoint isn't great. If there was an easier way to drop left side, like another little underneath area, it could maybe go up one. This one's still not that bad, but it's more the stage carries it. The combo is not that good. Okay, in a perfect world with better specials, I think Clam Blitz Skipper could be very fun with how it splits you up because there's a top push option, but almost no clam spawn there. And then there's the bottom hard to push option, but all the clams spawn. It has the most interesting Clam Blitz layout. 
and I think it could be really fun. I think just in this game, in the current meta, with how people are gonna play it, it doesn't work. In a game with better specials, it could maybe be fun. Maybe. I think it's very interesting, and I kind of respect what they're going for. That being said, it's still skippered. It's still a mirror to layout that will inherently have an advantage for one side over the other, so there's only so high I can put the stage. I don't know why people like Rainmaker on Starfish so much. It's very cramped in one area. Bombs are so annoying on it. I don't like it. It's not that bad. I considered putting it up, but I don't like it. I don't know why people enjoy this map mode. I don't think it's that good. We have our first Sturgeon Shipyard, which is Clam Blitz, because you can score from the spinner, and that part's dumb. If you couldn't score from the snipe area, then I think this could actually be, like, an S or X tier map. But I think scoring from the snipe area and spinner is really dumb, and I don't like it because of that. Outside of that, it's pretty good, because, I mean, this stage is pretty good. Sturgeon's a nice map mode. So, Tower Albacore. Okay, basically, this map, for the first and second checkpoint, are really cool. It's it's like a big zone on the left side because it's so close to each other. That part actually makes it fun, and I'd say it's easier to move on than it is on any of the other modes on this map. That being said, it also goes over water, and the third checkpoint area is terrible. So, like, it's very close. If the ending route was better, it would be up here. Uh, and then we can get Clam Blitz and Tower Control. So Humpback is not a good stage because this is a map where they're like retreating just doesn't exist, especially on you. We'll get to you later. Um, but anyway, in terms of tower control and clam blitz, tower you can't back up on the right side and clam blitz defending is just way too annoying with how much cover you have under that ledge. I just think the layouts are both very awkward and uncomfortable. Power doesn't move that poorly in a path, though. But I don't know, something about it just doesn't work. Admittedly, that one's a little bit personal preference. All right, A tier. Let's knock out Zone Skipper. I don't have anything interesting to say about it. Rainmaker and Black Belly Zones. These are fine. They are very different. I'd say Zones and Rainmaker layouts are both good. Rainmakers, the specials in this game kind of hurt it, but I don't mind the Rainmaker layout that much. It's honestly kind of its own stage in some ways, though. The Zones one is fine. Spawn camping is a bit there, and it's a bit short-range favored. But it's not, like, Muscle Forge bad for backlines. You could still play, like, Charger or Explo or even Heavy here. Or even Ballpoint if you play the Flank group. Like, I think backlines are fine here compared to Muscle Forge. Uh, most people who do not like backlines would rank this lower. I will be reasonable and say that it is a backline favored stage. I think it favors them too much, but the layout of the stage isn't the most unplayable thing in the world. In a perfect world where we have better stages in this game, I would not want to see either of these two, but unfortunately, Splatoon 2 does not have that many good stages, and thus we see Clam Blitz and Zones on Albacore Hotel. Uh, let's get the rest of the humpbacks out of the way. Zones is you cannot retreat the map. Oh, I wonder why it's special spammy, but you know, at least you can approach from a few angles, and I guess Rainmaker isn't that bad either. There's still options. Like, you can play the map in different ways. That's at least something compared to a lot of the ones uh, lower on this list. Uh, Raymaker and Zones and Shobi get down here. Uh, this map is not bad. The Splatoon 1 layout is better. Hot take, I know, but it's true. You can move more places. I think it's a bit special spammy. That's the main problem with it, especially in Zones. Rainmaker is a bit linear because the right side path isn't good, except if you're stalling. And honestly, I would dunk it for stalling because I think the stalling path on the right side is really stupid. If you don't have Ray, it's so hard to stop it. It's very annoying. So honestly, I'd rank these lower. Uh, we can get zones and clams out of the way for Snapper Canal. Uh, it's fine. I don't know. I don't really have any strong opinions on it. I think it is a playable map mode. I like the variety of clam spawns and push options. Same for zones, but it also still just doesn't feel that great for how big the map is. Snapper basically feels like, despite the map being huge, you feel still kind of constricted in where you can go, and it still feels kind of lockout heavy, and I don't like it. So, eh, it's not the worst thing in existence. Ah, uh, the claustrophobic zones, but it's a little bit better than Rainmaker and Clams. At least there's some more open areas. It doesn't feel like I'm suffocating as much. Uh, Zones Schellendorf is okay. Still have to push glass a lot, but, like, it's playable. There's options to push it. It's not that bad. Honestly, this could even be a tier higher, but I'm not gonna go that far into the chaotic choice. Uh, that being said, uh, Zones, Tower, and Clan Blitz. If this map mode had another push option, like, more than just coming from mid, besides the shitty drops on the sides, boom, 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 
good map. I think this stage is the highest rework potential. Splatoon 3 could make this a very good map, but as it stands, it's not that great a stage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have passed the playable tier. You know what? Actually, I changed my mind. All right, I changed my mind. I'm sorry, guys. Clan Blitz on Manta, I'm gonna put here. I kind of like the Tower and Rain. You have to go all the way underneath. So I'd honestly put this here, and I'll even put zones here. Screw it. Uh, I think having to push up really far makes this map a lot better. Like, you get to play more of it. It's a little bit too passive in these modes, and it's a bit special-y. If it had another movement option to push in a bunker, I think it would be really good. But as is, it's it's okay. This is still decent now. This is playable. This is decent. So now we're getting into maybe you actually want to play on them. Manta on the movement objectives. It's pretty cool. The tower path goes consistently forward, but still switches between having to defend from the left side to the middle to the right side. Really cool. Rainmaker has a variety of path push options. You can go far right, you can go middle and cut through bunker, or you can go left side, which is a bit underrated. Pretty cool to push on. Defender still a plenty of spots to push in. Good map mode, I guess. I still wish it had more movement options, but like, it's, it's fine. It's good, just not great. Clam Blitz is a little bit too small on this map mode. I think the basket should be a bit... I'm not sure where you would move it. I think Mako is just a bit too small for clams, or else it could be fine. Tower control is ruined by the third checkpoint. Everything up to the second checkpoint is good, but then the third checkpoint, instead of being a checkpoint, it should honestly just be a longer path, and it should cut closer to the spawn shield, or something along those lines, because I think it doesn't really work once it gets that far. It starts moving away from spawn, and also rotating top left to defend that area is really easy to just stuff under ledges. That route needs more protection. I don't have anything to say on this. This is just the best map mode for Ancho. The right side flank thing that isn't accessible in clams and zones and is too stall heavy on Rainmaker gets to shine here. It just has the most options out of any of the Ancho Vs. Honestly, I'm gonna bump it up actually. Ancho V Tower is great. So I'll move it there. There's a good amount of movement options, good amount of defending spots. Specials are strong, but not too overbearing. You can push them pretty far, but there's still plenty of ways to move out of spawn. Good map mode. I guess we'll rank this one early. Uh, Clam's Pit. I think defending is a little bit annoying. Like with zones and tower control, I think it could really use a bottom left drop area. Or I guess it doesn't matter as much for zones, but like a bit of a more accessible path to the left side of spawn would have made this so good. So it's very close to being great, but it's only in good. And I guess while we're at it, we can rank zones. It's a little bit better. It's a bit less lockout heavy. It's a bit less neutrally. There's a bit more push options. Good job, Pit. Uh, Mako Zones is up here. The best map mode for Mako. Plenty of movement options. Plenty of ways to push in. Fairly accessible. Awesome. Don't have anything to say about it. Uh, Reef Clam Blitz. It's a bit too defender heavy, but it's still Reef. It's really good. And Tower and Zones on the top two. Very playable. Good movement options path. Tower goes a bit away, but I'm honestly willing to overlook it because Reef's layout is just so goddamn good that even though the tower goes away, you want to push bridge anyway. And then from bridge, you can still take that tower. And you can also go right side to push it anyway. So even though it goes away, it doesn't feel that bad. Rainmaker Snapper, if Ray wasn't as oppressing on Rainmaker as it was, I think this would honestly be X tier. Very close to being good. Makes the map mode feel the most playable because teams want to focus one side, which makes it easier to move around than on the other modes. So I like it a bit more. Nice. Tower Starfish is the least cramped out of all the starfishes. There's a good amount of movement options. You can push the top left area. It's a bit spawn lock hell, and mid is still a bit claustrophobic, but it is a vast improvement over the other starfishes, in my opinion. And Sturgeon is the map with the best map modes amount in the game that are all great. I think tower is fine. I know people get annoyed by it, but there's plenty of movement options to push on there. There's a lot of places to go around. They can spawn camp, but to get that far in, A, you still have plenty of options, but B, if they get that far, you have messed up at least twice in a row, if not three times. It's entirely on you at that point. Rainmaker has a variety of push options. Easily the most in the game, plenty of varied routes to push and defend from. Zones could use a little bit more movement options. I almost bumped it down but you know i would say it's as good as these other map modes so i would put it here is it as good as like some of the great splatoon 1 map modes no i think it's still on this tier but zones is the closest to being down we did it that is the list there are 92 map modes you are probably going to disagree with me on some point so yeah that's just how it is splatoon 2's maps are mostly mediocre or bad i would describe most of them as playable or worse but it has some gems and i think with some reworks it could be better if you guys want to see this with all of splatoon 1's map modes because there's only about half as much and it would be way easier to do let me know and i might cover them but with that being said bye